Welcome to the Young Crones Cafe, where you can get a magic brew full of all sorts of information, both witchy and practical. Grab a cup of coffee and join us. I'm Elizabeth, a wordsmith. And I'm Dave, a modern day sage. We are going to talk about various witchcraft and life topics from a slightly more mature perspective, at least most of the time. Thanks for joining us. Here's a little something extra to get you through until our next regularly scheduled podcast recording. As I said here, it is the 2nd of February, and those of us on the path are deep in the process of starting what we call the Season of Candle Mass. For the secular world, it's Groundhog Day, and Puxatawney Phil has seen his shadow, supposedly been frightened by it, thereby going back into hiding and somehow creating six more weeks of winter for us. I often wonder how some groundhog in Pennsylvania can determine what the weather's going to be for the rest of us here in America. However, seems that Groundhog Day may actually have been descended from a tradition where the priest would bless the candles, and if the day was sunny on today's date, then winter would soon be over. So somehow we flipped that around and made it backwards and made it about a groundhog. But the idea of candle mass as a name for what we celebrate because we associate this time of year with the element of fire It seems appropriate to call it after candles because they are the easiest and quickest way other than lighting a match or flicking a lighter to have flames around you or a single flame. The element of fire is associated often with the the direction of self where heat and warmth come from. So it seems appropriate not to mention it's about the time of midday where at this time of year, we tend to get more gloom where we live than actual sunshine, but there is always hope. Candle, a candle flame can be a sign of hope. It is light amidst of the darkness. And at this time of year, while the sunlight is gradually increasing day by day, it is often imperceptible because we tend to get up while it's still dark and go to bed while it's still dark. So somewhere in the middle, we have missed the, the daylight itself such as it is. We tend to have a lot of gloom around here in February, so it seems appropriate that candles and flames would be important. We also associate fire with the idea of creativity and or inspiration. Now for us, inspiration we like to think is when that internal spark of divine that resides in all of us flames up and it's like an aha moment, while creativity is using whatever gifts we have for our spiritual practice or to grow and create other things. Some of us are gifted at gardening or writing or any type of craft or activity. And the important thing is to exercise your creativity. It's like a muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it, which explains why I am sitting here talking to you as a 60 something year old woman doing a podcast nowadays. It's a way for me to create content and share the little bit that I have learned over the years about the practice of witchcraft. So today, to celebrate, if you call it Imbolc, if you call it Candlemas, if you call it Breeds Day, if you call it Groundhog Day, I don't care. Take a moment and acknowledge the element of fire. Light a candle and set your intent for the day that you're going to be aware of your creativity, that you're going to look for sources of inspiration, and that you're going to listen to it if that little voice whispers inside of you very quietly with a new idea of something to try for your personal spiritual practice or anything you might enjoy doing. So with that being said, have a blessed candle mass. And until our next episode, may you find mirth and reverence in all things. Well, it looks like the coffee cups are empty for this week. We hope you join us again next Tuesday, but you can find us at our website, two young crones Dot com. That's the number two, Young Crones. We'd love to have you join our growing online Discord community. Check out our new Patreon presence. Just look for Young Crones Cafe. Through Patreon, you'll be able to make it to our Discord. We are also Young Crones Cafe on Twitter and Facebook. Until then, remember, we are witches who work with energies to affect change. We are believers in both imminent and transcendent divine. 
We are celebrants of the passage of the solar and lunar cycles. We are hedge walkers who pass back and forth between the worlds of the magical and the mundane. We are seekers of knowledge. And we are walkers of a spiritual tradition we call the path. So mote it be. So mote it be.